right, what am I doing today? Playing some H3 VR. Uh, let's see. Well, you know, it's been a while since I've uh, actually shot some guns. And uh, I was planning on doing a uh, video where I just make some vault weapons. Because, uh, as you can see, it's pretty empty. So, uh, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, okay. Just making sure I didn't hit anything here. Chair. But, uh, I'm gonna go down each one of these categories and see if I can make something. Um, although, I really, uh, I think maybe I should have done... I restarted Westworld, or Worst World, and I lost some of the, uh, unlock, uh, unlockable guns. So maybe I should have done that first, but you know what? That's okay. I didn't really use those uh, weapons anyways. So uh, let's start off with the automatic pistols. I need to find one that I like that I can customize. Before I used to use the 5.7, but uh, well, you know, there are a lot more weapons now. So uh, which one should I use? I do like the USP tacticals though. Now, 45 ACP, pretty good stopping power. It's uh, I think it's a lot better than the 1911, though. You know, a lot of people like the 1911 because it's classic. <laughs> Although I could go with a VP9, which is nine millimeter. Um, pretty cool. But uh, yeah. I mean, the 5.7, I think, would be the optimal choice, given that it's firing uh, this cartridge right here, 5.7 by 28 millimeter, which is uh, pretty good. But sometimes you just can't move away from the classic. You got the 1911 right there. And some people like the, uh, the tactical or the operator. Uh, but I will, I guess, I'm going to go with the USB tactical, because uh, I like them USBs regular facing bullets and uh, let me just spawn some attachments here for uh, later use or uh, for me to customize this gun later on let's do the laser I like going with the standard red dot I think this is green and this is purple I don't remember exactly which one but I do I am gonna get the sure glow light and a hmm, Tactical Laser 5. Tactical Laser 2 is pretty cool. Let's just stick this on. I guess I'm going to go straight into customization. <laughs> but I want to put this, align this properly. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. That's close enough. And the sure glow can fit on that rail. Like that. That's pretty good. I mean, I could try to make it look like a uh, SOCOM pistol. The Mark 20... Mark 23? Was it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm think, uh, I'm having a brain fart right now. I thought it was the Mark 23... Uses the uh, QC9 suppressor. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I think that was the uh, name of it. Let's go to the range here. Shoot a couple of rounds. Just to, uh, you know. All right, pretty cool. Like it a lot. Now we're just gonna stick that onto the table there with a fully loaded magazine. Let's go to the vault, scan that baby in. All right, good stuff. So that's an automatic pistol. Now we'll do a revolver. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? We just got the BFR. Which is pretty cool. But I like the R8 because I'm a lefty. Oh, let me get rid of this. And uh, left handed revolver 
is really nice. See the uh, the cylinder slides out on the uh, correct side. <laughs> At least for me, it's correct. So, get speed loader here, and let's stick some rounds in there. Put that away. Nice. All right. All right. So, uh, what should I put on this thing that will make it personally mine? I could stick an underbarrel <laughs> if I wanted to. I completely forgot about these. But let's go with a laser first. Again. I like this, uh, this style of laser. And uh, should I put a flashlight on this thing? That's the question. Uh, maybe we'll go with the flashlight. It's a pretty beefy pistol. Put it like this. Although I could put a stock as well. Hmm. PSAG. <laughs> you know what? I should I should have put a stock on that. Uh, on that USP. Maybe I'll go back to that, but let me just see if I can get a uh, holographic site for this. Hmm. Let's see. Which one should I do? Red dot compact? Uh, maybe I could put a scope. This is a revolver. All right. Actually, I might go with the ghost DR. This thing as bulky as possible. Plus, it's got some iron sights on top. So, if I need it, I can use that. Although, I can't use. Well, yeah, since it's got the iron sights on top, I don't really need these. And I can put this to four times magnification. Whoops, my controller is, uh, for some reason, <laughs> glitching out there. Okay. Maybe I should put a foregrip on this. <laughs> I could. Makes it a lot more accurate. Oh, come on, controllers. Stop glitching out on me. That's weird. Because I, I push the locomotion buttons on my controller and I start. And I release them and I keep moving forward. Which is a weird kind of thing. Oh, let me just, uh. Ooh, nice. A little low there. It is shooting a little high, probably due to the uh, fact that the scope is a little high. That's kind of strange. Yeah, see, it's shooting a little, a little high there. So maybe uh, this is not the right scope. Take this off. I could just go with a uh, nice little red dot here. It's pretty low. Right about there. Let's try this out. All right, pretty cool. Working as intended. And I can move the stock back a little farther if I wanted to. Hmm. All right. Let's throw this away. Oh. Let's put the stock inside and uh, let's stick that into the vault. I could, like I said, I could have used the. Uh, the BFR, but I do like the R8. Now let me go back to the USB tactical here. Just delete this entry. And uh, see if I want a stock on this thing. I don't really feel like I should put a stock on this, but 
Let me just uh, experiment away here. A little thing here we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I wanted to put a stock on this thing, I would also put like one of those rail adapters and put a uh, red dot sight on top. So I'm not going to do a stock. Put that back, put that in the vault, scan that. Throw that away. Let's clean up the area here. Okay, next up we've got a machine pistol. <clears throat> there are a lot of options here. But my personal favorite would have to be the SCX, or the Saburu Compact Explo uh, Exploder. <laughs> as far as the uh, 46 by 30 millimeter, which is, I think, the same as the MP7, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Let's go with the PDW here. 4.6 uh, by 30, yep. So, uh, but um, I also like this because there is a hidden rail uh, on this uh, pistol. Let me just uh, do a muzzle device here. Now, I want something a little boxy. So that's probably going to be like the, uh, let's see, where is it? Where are you? Maybe the triad. That might look really nice on this thing. Or the operator. Or the salvo. Anything really boxy. If I really wanted to, I could do the uh, Vector 45 Shroud, but it's not a suppressor, so... Uh, let me just put this thing in there. It's kind of hard to do since the gun is so small. There we go. But again, it's not really a... Uh, really a suppressor. Just a barrel shroud. Oh, come on. I wanted to spawn lock that. I don't know why. Reloading this thing is really hard. But I like that look. But unfortunately, I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to go with a regular suppressor. <laughs> it's always fun. Let's drop that. Okay, there we go. I don't know. The triad looks pretty nice. Hmm. Pretty cool. Also, I can put a stock on this thing. I might do the this one. The GLR or whatever it's called. There it is. Make this a carbine. <laughs> oh. I really like this, uh, sorry, I have to scratch my mouth there. I really like this weapon, though. Just, I love the look of it, you know? It reminds me of, like, the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, I forgot what the, the name of the pistol was in, like, uh, the old, uh, Deus Ex games. Which is, you know, I mean, pretty much the influence there is, uh, old, uh, anime and manga. Cause this is a, um, this is a Shiro sort of influence. Masu, Masamune Shiro. You ever watch Ghost in the Shell or Appleseed? This is from Appleseed, by the way. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Go to Internet Movie Firearms Database. You'll learn all about that. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let me put a, uh, let me put a scope on this thing. Actually, uh, you know, like I said earlier with the, uh, well, I don't know if I upload that video yet, but. With this, you can, uh, there's a rail on this thing, so you can put this baby on there. Give yourself a laser, right? At the same time, you can also put a sight on this thing. Uh, I want to go with the, uh, whatever this one is. <laughs> that on there. Let's turn that off. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's all futuristic looking. A little holographic sight. 
But there, there's some other ones in here too. Let's see. Um, we'd go with the MRS. But I, you know, well, actually, this site is also pretty cool looking too. Although. Um, maybe not. Stick with this one, though. Just want to make sure this is good. Looks good there. Although, I forgot if this gun has a, um, slide release. Nope, doesn't seem like it. So you have to pull the slide back manually. I turned the safety on. There we go. Reloading this gets a little easier every time you use it. You gotta drag this thing there. Oh, my trackpad is terrible. Let me let me switch hands here. Hold on. This hand will probably be better. There we go. Trackpad down. I like that red and green. <laughs> if you can see it. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's just throw this away. And let's go shoot this out on the target over there. Um, let's see. I could do some, uh, some little, uh, attachment wizardry and try to put a Try to pull a, a foregrip on this thing, but that would be kind of hard. Let me see if I can. Let's go to the attachments here. Although maybe, hold on, let me just see if I can. This. This terrible. I forgot how people did it. They managed to. Do that. There we go. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, no. Come on. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to change the suppressor. I might go with the... Um, let's see. Either the salvo or the operator. Hmm. The boxy suppressor. That's too boxy for me. Let's go with the uh, operator. Hmm, maybe not. Let's see. Salvo. Ooh, okay. Salvo looks pretty good. Hmm. Maybe not. Come on, get on there. You can do it. I believe in you. Ah. No, that's just too much right there. Uh, I'm going to try to go with the boxy. Hmm. No. So the triad was the, re the real way to go on this one. Uh, at least I think so. Although, I could... Since it is, uh... Since it is, like, interacting with the, uh... Or clipping through the, the attachment there. Maybe I can stick a... Short barrel extender on this thing. Come on. There we go. And then go with this. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I can get a longer, where is this, real adapter. Let's try the long one first. Okay, glitching out on me there, come on. You can do it. Yeah, nope, that's the wrong way, maybe this way. This might work right here. 
Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, no, maybe I should take off the extender. Oh, no, come on, you can do it. No, 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 that's not going to work. That's not going to work. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, it is tough. You gotta have a little patience, but... Oh, come on. Just trying to blend these two things together. Uh, that's, uh... Looks okay. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, okay. That worked a little better. Just move this down. Make sure it doesn't clip too much. All right. Let me just try the triad here. Yeah, see, now that's better. Okay, well, um, I guess I don't really need the uh, barrel extender anymore. See, that looks a lot better. And where is this? I need this. Give this to me. I'm going to stick this baby on there like that. Okay. And I will do a foregrip. Now, which one should I choose? There's a lot of them. QC9. No. Maybe. Maybe an angled foregrip? No. Mini. Let's try the mini. The tiny one. Let's see if I can extend this rail here. Give me a nice long one. Oh yeah, that's gonna look really weird. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Maybe not the uh, mini. Let's try a bigger foregrip here. I wonder what this looks like, though. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's draw that out a bit. <laughs> So this, I think, should be okay. Yep. All right. Well, you know, I think that's good enough for me. Let's just clear this area here. Clear these. And uh, I think it's loaded. Whoop! Oh, it is. Stick that onto the uh, vault and take that off. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's clean up the scene here. Let's throw away some of this stuff. What's next? Oh man, breach loading. Well, we got the contender because I'm not going to go with a rolling block. 4570 government. Pretty nice. Stick that baby on there. Very powerful round. Let's do a little bit of uh, attaching. Let's go with a four grip. Well, actually, uh, go with a stock first. It's got some nice wooden uh, furniture on there, so we're going to go with a wood stock this time for the uh, Mauser. Hmm. Doesn't look that great to me. Let's try something else. Come on. Hmm. Can we stick this upside down? <laughs> no, that's kind of dumb. Don't do that. Oh, it looks okay. 
Let me just try the, uh, the Luger here. Hmm, okay, maybe I might go with a Luger. I mean, it is a different color, but yeah, that's okay. It's well worn. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, so we've got a stock for this. Um, let me just go with a magnified scope option. Three by twelve is pretty nice. Let me go with that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. But nothing too crazy. Because, uh, yeah, if you go to, like, with a, a 12 by 60, you know, it's just, like, <laughs> you're going really too far there. This isn't that long range, but it is, you know, it's pretty good for those distances as well, so. Oh, man. Um, what am I going to do with this one? Maybe just the standard uh, 1 by 24? Is about the size of the gun itself, so that'll work. <laughs> Although I want to, um, let's see, might put a suppressor on this thing. Uh, let's see, a large suppressor. This might look funky. Let's uh. Try this thing out. Huh. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. Might just take that off right now. Uh, let's see. Or I could put a muzzle brake on this thing. Maybe extend the barrel. Oh, that just looks wrong for some reason. You know what? Let's not extend the barrel. <laughs> we'll put, a, uh, put one of these muzzle brakes on here. Uh, it's kind of, uh, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not feeling it, but maybe, maybe. I do want to put a suppressor on this thing, though. I guess that would be my, um, ultimate goal, is to put a suppressor on this thing. Or I could just do a Vector 45 shroud. No, that's, uh, yeah, that would... That looks really strange. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What should I use for this? Oh man, there's so many choices. I don't know. Don't know what I want to use. Hex bolter. Maybe that might be a good choice. Hmm. Ninety one. Or we could do the corded. Oh. It's kind of hard without a uh, foregrip. Oh, you can't actually grab it there, so. A little too low. I need to aim a little higher. Uh, still too low there. Almost had it. There we go. Bullseye. Yeah, maybe at this distance it's not that great to do. Shoot it. Uh, shoot the target. Because uh, there's a little bit of drop. All right. Well, um, uh, I don't know what I can do with this. And I, I won't probably use it that much, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not satisfied with the uh, suppressor. But, uh, yeah, well, like I said, I don't use it that much, so I'll have to do for now. All right, let's see. 
got some lever action, which um, there's only one. Oh, let me just get rid of this. The volcanic. All right. To load this baby, you uh, flip open the little loading gate there. And then you just stick some ammunition down the uh, the uh, tube. Get one more. There we go. And that's pretty much it. There's no uh, attachment points or anything. I don't think. Actually, I just want to check because uh, since Anton added these uh, classic silencers, but. Uh, that's what they were marketed as back then. Maybe it might work. Maybe not. Oh, that's too bad. It would be funny if we could put a suppressor on this uh, volcanic, but... Oh. Right, well, you know what? Let me just check something else. Let me see if I can uh, put a stock on this thing, even though it'd be really weird if you could. Nope, you can't. Too bad, but I'm uh, not, really, not really surprised. It's not really that great of a weapon. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Same thing uh, with the um, lever actions. Since Anton changed things, now all you need to do is uh, push forward on the controllers, or you know, do this, do this motion, right? It's a lot easier. And uh, this thing is really hard to aim. Of course, we can do it the old-fashioned way by flip-cocking it. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to put this in the vault anyways, just because I have the uh, ability, uh, ability to. It's always fun. Even though you don't really use them, you know, you can still do it. It still goes in there. <laughs> which is pretty nice. Oop. Let's get rid of those rounds. And uh, bolt action. Oh. All right. Now this, uh, there's one more new addition to this, so I might go with the, the uh, Obrezd Lee uh, Enfield uh, spawn. There we go. <laughs> Took a while to spawn. Spawn a magazine here. And I wonder if I can put a scope on this thing. Let me just spawn a stripper clip here. I don't think any of the big um, scopes work on this thing. We had a Enfield scope here somewhere, which is uh, where it is. I might not be seeing it. Hmm, where are you? 1903. Oh, here it is. Let's see if this uh, attaches. I don't think so. Oh, it does. There we go. A little, uh, <laughs> you got a little, little chibi, uh, Enfield. Can I put a, uh, suppressor on this? I think you can do, um, the classic ones. Yeah, not that one. The, um, <clears throat> Maxim? No, you can't? Oh, that's just disappointing. I thought you could. Some of these weapons you can, but, you know, some of them you can't, so it's a little too bad, but that's okay. I wonder uh, if I could. I, I haven't really tried this yet. Let me just uh, stick a stock on this thing. You know, you can't? Well, well, that's too bad, but that's okay. You know, get yourself uh, cut down Obrezd Lee Enfield. Which is going to be kind of hard to aim, since it doesn't have a stock. Ooh. That scope relief is... I will say, though, that the, uh, the Enfield is uh, pretty fast, and the whole, like, bolt and the chambering. So you can be pretty fast on the bolt with this thing. Just aiming it is a little hard with a scope. 
And if you took the scope off. Which... Yep. But yeah, it's a pretty good little, uh, little pist uh, pistol. <laughs> Uh, well, what do you want to call this, I guess? Uh, cut down rifle? <laughs> Something like that. But I'm just going to scan that, put that in there. I wish we had the uh, Swede mod, but that's exclusive to, I think, Taken Hold. Um, and yeah, that's all the pistols right now. I don't want to make this video too long. Let me just throw this away. But those are the pistols. I might go and do the rest of these... Uh, categories with like separate videos so you know we got all the we got four shotguns here got a lot of rifles and then some support weapons but yeah this video might be a little too long just for like customizing stuff so i'm just gonna stop this right now and i'll see you guys next time hopefully for more weapon customization and uh yeah later